Dear students, now we are going to see the synthesis of dicyclamine hydrochloride. So, first we will see the structure of dicyclamine hydrochloride. So, here it is having diethyl amino group and that, uh, that one is connected with ethyl. That ethyl is connected with the carboxylate that is ester and the carbon of the ester is connected with the two cyclohexyl groups. That is why its chemical name is 2 because this would be attached with the second carbon node that is why 2 diethyl amino ethyl and this is bicyclohexyl bicyclohexyl 1 carboxylate hydrochloride. So, that is the chemical name of this dicyclamine hydrochloride. Uh, this is this dicyclamine hydrochloride no, that is otherwise called as dicyclovirine and it is an anticholinergic agent. Uh, it is a muscarinic antagonist. It is an antispasmodic agent and a parasympatholytic agent. Now, we see the synthesis of this dicyclamine hydrochloride. For this first, we have taken benzyl cyanide. Already we have known C6H5CH no, that is benzyl with the CN that is why it is called as benzyl cyanide and that one is treated with um, dibromopentane because uh, so this is the first carbon, this is the fifth carbon. So, this is the pentyl group and first and fifth would be connected with the two bromides that is why it is called as 1,5-dibromopentane. So, what are the two reagents taken? One is benzyl cyanide another one is 1,5-dibromopentane that to on a reaction in the presence of NaNH2 that is in the presence of sodamide what happens? Here these two hydrogens combine with these two bromine and removed as 2-HBr. So, that is why the left pentyl group no that would be added with this carbon and forming a cyclohexyl ring. So, we got that. Now, we are going for hydrolysis by means of water. This cyanide would be hydrolyzed and we are getting acid and what is removed? One molecule of ammonia would be removed. So, here cyanide is converted to acid here. Now, we are treating with ethanol. On treatment with ethanol, it undergoes esterification. So, on esterification what happens? So, from here OH no, from the acid OH and from the uh, alcohol H that would be removed as water. That is why the left oc 2 h 5 no, that would be added with the CO group and we are getting an ethyl ester. Now, we have taken that uh, ethyl ester and with that ethyl ester is uh, treated with the sodium salt of diethyl amino ethanol. So, what is added here? Sodium salt of diethyl amino ethanol. By the addition of these two what happens? The here that ethoxide group and this Na that would be removed as uh, sodium ethoxide that is why the left group other than sodium no, the left would be added with the CO and we are getting uh, this intermediate compound. Now, this on reduction by means of uh, platinum here the first ring no, the aromatic ring that is the benzene ring would be reduced and we are getting a cyclohexyl ring and we are getting the product as dicyclamine. So, that is why we are how, this is the way uh, we are getting dicyclamine and uh, it is uh, it is having a spasmolytic effect on smooth muscle spasms in GIT. It is used in the treatment of uh, dysmenorrhea, pylorospasm and biliary dysfunction. Thank you.